Welcome everybody to a brand new video on my YouTube channel. I hope you are not scared because today we are going to talk about a replica glove of Fred Krueger from A Nightmare on Elm Street. For everybody who doesn't know who Freddy Krueger is, well Freddy Krueger is a character from the movies A Nightmare on Elm Street. And there are a lot of movies, there is a 2010 version that's a remake but I like the old school Freddy Krueger movies more because that's more a comedy horror and the 2010 version is more like a scary horror. Freddy Krueger is a burnt man who comes in your nightmares and if he kills you or hurts you in your nightmares you also get hurt or die in real life. That's a little bit the basic of the story of who Freddy Krueger is and what he does. And when Freddy comes after you in your nightmares, he is chasing you with these kinds of gloves with knives on the fingers. I have two gloves as you can see, the left one I already have for a long period of time and the right one it just came in new and we are going to compare the two with each other. That one is a lot cheaper than this one so I'm expecting more from this one but we are going to see how the quality is, how the detail is on both gloves and uh, I will say sit back, relax and don't get scared. Okay, let's compare the boxes with each other. This is the new one I got. It's a Nightmare on Elm Street Part 3 Dream Warriors replica from NECA Real Toys. And this one is from Ruby's Deluxe Edition replica glove. The first thing I saw with these two is that one has safety warnings on it. This one doesn't. Right here you see ages 17 plus. Warning choking hazard, this is not a toy. Even if it's made by real toys, this is not a toy. You don't have any safety or warning signs on this one. Also not even an age limit on this one. And the thing with these gloves is, they are metal, so they are not toys. You can poke somebody's eye out with it if you are not careful, so they are not for children. And this one has safety warnings on it and that one doesn't. But what I like of this box more compared to that one is this one only has pictures on it but this one has on the back side of the box a little story about a nightmare on elm street and fred krueger himself so ladies and gentlemen the time has come we are going to talk about the gloves first thing i saw with the gloves is this is the NECA and this is the rubies the NECA has a handstand with it. So you can put it on this hand and you can put it somewhere in your room as a decoration. And also on the hand you see a Nightmare on Elm Street 3 Dream Warriors. But still it's made of plastic but that doesn't matter. And also compared to my hand, look, it's very, very small. It does its job and it's a little bit extra. And now we are going to take a look at the metal of the gloves. First we are going over with the rubies one. And the thing I saw with rubies is it just has one shade of color of copper on it. If we look at the other one from NECA, it has different kinds of shades on it. You have a little bit gold copper right here and it starts to get darker right here and very dark at the fingertips. And you also have a little bit of damage on here, like it really has been used by Fred Krueger. You don't really have a lot of damage on this one, yeah, the damage you see is because of me, but when I got it in, it didn't have any damage. Now let's look at the blades of the gloves. This one is from NECA, the movie accurate expensive one. This one is from Rubies, the cheaper not movie accurate one. 
but this one has thicker blades longer blades compared to this one but okay in the movie the blades are also very thin and not long but if you want to destroy some fruit like a watermelon or anything i will recommend you this one because the knives are thicker so they are also stronger but the negative part about when you have big knives is the weight this one is very heavy compared to this one so it's also much harder to move around in this glove than in this glove now let's look at the gloves of the hands and we first start with the one from rubies i need to say one word for this glove horrible really horrible it's not strong at all it's very loose and somebody just took a paintbrush and put some spots on it so i really don't like this glove but if we look at the one from NECA, here he is as you can see the quality is immediately better but also this is a real leather next to that it's movable the glove but it's really strong so your hand doesn't fall out easily the glove is not sitting very loose it's much Sec more secure than the one from rubies also on the back side and that's also movie accurate you have a little bit little band right here so you can tighten it also so your hand fits in perfectly but you don't have that with the one from rubies ha! i think to give an honest opinion i first need to try on the gloves well i have a glove on right now this one is from rubies and this is the heaviest one and i also really feel it that this one is the heaviest one but i can still easily move it but if i turn it around the knife start to get pretty heavy and i almost start to shake with my hand because it's pretty hard to push them up and that's not only because of the weight that's also because of the glove because the glove isn't tight at all as you can see i can put a second hand in here and go clap 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 but the knives really feel strong so i really think i can destroy a watermelon an apple or a banana or some other fruit with it and that's a fun thing with this one and it's also cheap so if you get a little bit damage on it it's not a big deal because it's a cheap glove but this is more like a fun glove let's see what the other glove is so here is the one from NECA and I need to say this one fits much 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 better than the other one and the knives are very light so i can move them pretty fast and also it's much tighter the glove sits much firmer on my hand of course there is still some room left but i can't put a second hand in there and go clap 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 like i did with the other one it's much tighter around the wrist of course this is a new glove so i can't push them all the way to the front at the moment because it's very tight still because it's new but when i use this one more it will work out eventually so do you want more uh, movie accurate and uh, something for your costume more realistic i will recommend you this one do you just want to have a freddy glove to play around with i will recommend you the other one so no this is not the end of the video no i will give you some really nice shots about these gloves also some close-ups so you can really look at the details of these gloves and you can give your opinion in the comments down below so i will say to you sit back relax don't get scared and enjoy the nice shots
So, and this is the end of the video. I hope you liked this video, of course. So please, put a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. Follow me on social media. I have Instagram, Facebook, and Snapchat. The links are in the description below. And tell me in the comments down below which glove you like the most. I really want to know. I'm interested in your opinion. But I will see you in the next video. Oi! Subscribe now or you might not wake up. Ha 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 ha.